funny to have um, uh, to have so many voices in your hand, basically with your with your phone. I think that some things uh, we kind of feel are off limits, mm -hmm. especially like one chapter in my book, I talk about postpartum depression and, and baby blues. And I think some women are made to feel shame about it. And that's a huge problem to me. And I remember talking to um, a friend of mine who's also my, th my therapist, who mm -hmm. actually is a part of the book. His name is Joe Balduke. And he kept calling me like after I had my son. And I was wondering, why does he want to keep calling me and yeah. FaceTiming me? He's like, I just want to see you and talk to you. Come to find out later, he said, I was just looking for all signs of postpartum depression. And he was like, I really feel like that chapter in your book has got to be so intimate. And you should speak to mothers in a really uh, vulnerable way and just let them know it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to engage, you know, in these conversations with other mothers because they're so always so ma made to feel shame about it. And it's no reason to talk, talk. We have so much mental illness in this country. And if we don't talk about it, then just, we just, we're, it's internal. And when it becomes internal, it becomes toxic and poisonous. 